This video contains the top three best Town Hall 14 attack strategies to three star any base. So let's rank them and go step by step so you can three star more with these armies. Let's kick things off with the Blizzard Lalo in the number three spot. This thing is still very good. Let's start with the Blizzard first. You want to mainly start off with the use of a Lava Hound, maybe a couple balloons, and then using the Battle Blimp. You want to make sure is that once you find the spot where you want to land your Blimp, use an Invisibility. Then go ahead and drop in a Rage and start timing your Invisibility spells every 4 seconds. You want to mainly go in to lure out the CC, clear some high value defenses like air defenses, inferno, scatter shots, while also trying to remove the town hall if possible. Other than this, from here you want to start sending in your hero dive. This is using your Barbarian King, Archer Queen, and Royal Champion. You can also bring additional troops like Ice Golems, Titans, or even the new Apprentice Warden. You mainly want to make sure that you are opening up the base and going towards the core. If the core still remains, it's going to be a threat, so you want to be really patient with your wall breakers as you get your heroes to move into the base. It's really important to have this since they're going to be able to do a lot of work this way. Your royal champion can go in more adjacent and it's still alongside your heroes, clearing out more buildings while jumping over walls and being able to clear some of those bigger name key defenses. From there, you want to start your Lalo. One Lava Hound and around two to three groups of balloons is really, really good, and that's what's going to help you. You also want to make sure that you're sending in the Grand Warden with them, so that way they can get some really early protection. But then use another Lava Hound and a couple of groups of balloons to start merging everything together and get that Lalo to be a little bit stronger. In terms of your spells, you've got Haste to get to anything that's really going to hit them hard, like Wizard Towers, Air Defenses, Scatter Shots. Free spells are really good on pretty much any defense that hits them. And of course, you've got the Grand Warren ability, which you can pair up with Headhunters to deal with leftover enemy heroes like the enemy Queen and the enemy Royal Champion. Other than this, you have cleanup with the rest of your troops, usually being minions in order to clear out multiple other buildings on the back end that you missed, and this will allow you to prevent yourself from getting the time fail. Other than that, your leftover spells can be used to get other defenses down, and that will help you get a 3-star very consistently. Now, if you're too worried about using the Blizzard, you can always use the Super Archer Blimp Lalo in our number 2 spot. It's still very good and really hasn't been changed very much since the update. So you mainly want to make sure that you're using the Super Archer Blimp first. Usually using a Grand Warden with balloons, but if the area you're going into is close, you can just use the balloons or a Lava Hound. Before the blimp pops, use an invisibility alongside waiting for your super archer blimps or super archer start firing. Then drop in another invisibility, two clone spells, a rage, and then time your invisibility spells every four seconds. Your goal is to try and remove maybe the town hall, but really you're trying to get as many key defenses down. If the town hall is one of them, definitely go in for that but you mainly want to get as many of those key defenses down. I'm talking the Inferno, Scatter Shots, the Town Hall, but also you want to create pathing and get a large area of the base down that you really don't need to worry about with your heroes or your Lala. From there, you want to start your Hero Dive. A really good idea is to send in the Barbarian King, Archer Queen, and Royal Champion with this Hero Dive. You do want to make sure that you're starting off with the King and the Queen first, you can bring in some support troops, such as the Electro Titan, the Golem, Ice Golem, or even the Apprentice Warden, all of which are really, really good and will help your heroes get much more. The goal of this hero dive is to clear as many defenses as possible, maybe clear an enemy hero, and make sure that the pathing you're creating is solid. This is what's going to help you because the pathing of the Lava Loon, especially when you have no spells, is incredibly important. So having the Royal Champion move in with your heroes uh, will allow you to get even more defenses down, create better pathing, and you will still possibly be able to deal with an enemy hero like the enemy Archer Queen or Royal Champion before you send in the Lava Loon. Now the Lava Loon, typically is the hardest part since you have no spells, but if you have the Grand Warden, it actually just becomes a cakewalk, especially if there's not that many defenses left up, and since there might not be a lot that are going to really hurt your attack, this is a really good point to bring in the use of an Ice Hound, since you don't really have spells to deal with anything, an Ice Hound pretty much gives you a spell as a troop. 
so it's very, very good still to use. You just need to make sure that you are doing one of the biggest things, which is having cleanup troops, such as minions. This will allow you to prevent yourself from getting a time fail and get yourself a three star. Now, if Lavaloon is not your speed, you always have the Super Barch in our number one spot. It is really strong. Typically, I would recommend using this with the Grand Warden, around five to six balloons, and using the Battle Blimp with this. Your goal is to get as many defenses as possible, so you want to use that Grand Warden ability early to get that Blimp to go as deep into the base mainly trying to get the town hall and any other structures if you can. You mainly want to use invisibility at the start, use another invisibility after four seconds, drop your two clones and a rage spell once you see the super archer starting to fire, and then use your invisibility spells every four seconds. Your goal is just to clear as many buildings off of the map as you can, which will usually include the scatter shots and the town hall. Other than that, it really becomes incredibly easy for you to move quite swiftly through the base. And realistically, this is all because of the heroes, since the heroes and the super barbarians are the only other part to this army. Speaking of which, this is pretty much where you go into just using the super barbarians and your heroes throughout the rest of the army. The super barbarians should be used in increments. This is usually good to create the funnel, but also to clear out other buildings. But usually I would recommend trying to save them for funneling your heroes to go in the right direction. I'd recommend an Apprentice Warden and the Electro Titan in this army because the Apprentice Warden will basically give everything that's going in with your heroes a ton of HP. So in total, you're getting more value with the use of the Apprentice Warden in this army. You may also want to bring in those wall breakers to open up the base and allow your heroes to move through. So your super barbarians are just being used sparingly around the base, helping your heroes kind of move through, and it allows you as well to be very patient with everything. Other than that, your super barbarians, like I said, are just going to be slowly being trickled in, being able to clear other trash buildings while your heroes are doing a majority of the work. You also have the back end royal champion. And since this strategy is so strong, that Royal Champion can come in really later on where you don't really have very much left up in the base, which can be insanely good. And realistically, it's just that easy. It is actually one of my favorite strategies right now, and it is really, really good and worth trying out. Now, hopefully this helps you get a consistent three star with these armies. And I really appreciate you guys making it to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for continuing to support me and the channel with everything I do. Of course, if you're looking for more breakdowns on one or more of these armies, check one of these videos out here and I'll be seeing you there.